In modern manufacturing, AGVs and of course robotics are they're the future of manufacturing. But imagine if you could combine both of them. I'm with Pat Duda, he's Senior Sales Applications Engineer for Kuka Robotics Corporation. And Pat, uh, behind us here is an AGV essentially with a robot mounted on top of it. Tell me about it. That's correct. This is our KUKA mobile robot, KMR. This has our standard EVA collaborative robot, but it's mounted on top of our mobile platform. This mobile platform uses our OmniMove wheels, so it's capable of moving in any direction and along any path. So that gives it the ability to move very flexibly through the factory and arrive at different stations avoid obstacles, it has autonomous navigation, and the ability to see its environment so it can work safely along with people. Now the HV component of it, does this operate with uh, embedded sensors in the floor, reflectors? Uh, how does it find its way around the factory? There's no special installation required in the factory. It's using complete sensor input. It has scanners that can see the environment and map the environment and it uses that for navigation and safety. Hmm. Now Pat, in modern manufacturing environments, a big challenge are the high mix, low volume, high mix, medium volume operations. And one way they get around this productivity wise, of course, is kitting. The idea of sort of, of make kits and deliver them to assembly stations for a product final assembly. This looks like this would be ideal for picking a wide variety of parts and dropping them into a tray in pretty defined ways. Would that be a typical application for something like this for manufacturing? Yes, absolutely. So it has that flexibility with the collaborative robot and uh, you could set up an application to pick from your warehouse area. Yep. So We're talking certainly. about collaborative robotics here, so that meaning that uh, a human being can walk up to this robot essentially and can interact with it, can touch it, and then how does it react? Will it stop or, or, or stop its cycle if it encounters a human being? Yes. You can program how the stop works in the case of the mobile unit, it has sensors that detect if somebody's too close and it'll stop automatically. And as soon as the person exits the area, it'll just start automatically as well. Okay, will it resume the cycle from the point it stopped or will, will it exactly. recycle? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the collaborative robot can be programmed to work in any number of different ways. You can have it stop and wait for some sort of operator gesture, mm -hmm. maybe pushing on the robot to indicate that it should restart, or there could be a start button that could also uh, cause it to begin oh. again. So it doesn't have to be restarted with strictly with a centrally located restart button. A worker could presumably even just somehow touch the, touch the robot in a way to, to signal it to, to, re to begin motion again? Yeah, yeah, that's a very common application that we're using. Interesting, and what sort of end effectors can we configure the, the, the robot with? It has a standardized flange on the end, mm -hmm. so you should be able to put any end effector on it. Mm -hmm. Quite often, applications require some level of customization. Mm -hmm. hey, now, if I'm using, for example, suction, or I'm using uh, an air power, pneumatic power gripper at this point. This is a mobile unit down there. So the services to supply that are all on board? It has a, a long uh, power battery. Mm -hmm. So the battery will run for eight to 10 hours in a production environment. There's auxiliary electricity provided for that. So the end effector on this is actually an electric uh, pneumatic device. And that's provided by Schmalls. So it generates vacuum right on board through the electric supply. And what sort of masses typically would, would this particular unit uh, pick up and pick a place? Our EVA arm is offered in a 7 kilogram or 14 kilogram model. So 15 pounds on the lower end, around 35 pounds on the high end. Well, 35 pounds, that's a considerable weight. It is. So for perhaps an automotive plant or something where they're looking at castings or something, that, that's, that's quite heavy. Yeah, it can lift a fair amount and still do it safely. And uh, industries that you imagine would take advantage of this, pharma, automotive, general manufacturing, appliances, is there a limit to? Well, there's no limit. Uh, it's certainly used a lot already in automotive and uh, medical is, is really uh, adopting it quite a bit. We're also seeing applications 
in a lot of emerging industries, in places where robotics has never really been used. Collaborative robots combined with AGV technologies, says Pat Duda, KUKA Robotics.